Hey, hope you're having a great day so far and welcome back. Today is December 29th, Tuesday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets really quickly before diving into the graph and synthetics, GRT, and SNX USD. See what has changed since the last time I have spoken on these two newly listed coins on Coinbase recently. I'll be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenarios for today for these two markets, as well as the short term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys want to support me and don't already have a Weibo brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're still giving away four free stocks upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit. And I will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculation opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future. And you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below, but we'll get to them a lot faster that way. See so what exactly is going on in the markets really quickly because I've already done a more detailed post on Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price action and how they can affect a lot of the altcoins in the markets. If you guys are interested in that, do take a look at my earlier post today. But Bitcoin dominance right now is bouncing a little bit at about 70%. It is underneath a key resistance level, which is the four hour 21 simple moving average. It is also above some key support levels, which includes the six hour 21 simple moving average and the hourly 21 and 50. Let's see which of these uh, supports and resistance get broken because this could decide where Bitcoin dominance could head next. If Bitcoin dominance continues trending downward, I'll be a lot more confident in trading altcoins. However, if Bitcoin dominance trends upwards and if Bitcoin price action pulls back, very risky for trading altcoins. Now, let's take a look into Bitcoin price action really quickly. I did mention that Bitcoin price action is currently within a symmetrical triangle pattern, a larger symmetrical triangle pattern now consolidating. So let's see where this price action can actually go. I do see a measure target of about, if according to this uh, symmetrical triangle pattern here, is going to be about 28.9K. So something to be uh, paying attention to because this could affect the altcoin market as well. Possible bearish divergence on the daily time frame, however. So something I'll be uh, paying attention to as well, because if this actually yields a pullback, I'll be looking out and see if price of uh, action on the Bitcoin dominance chart trends upwards or downwards. Like I said, if Bitcoin dominance trends upwards while Bitcoin price action pulls back, very dangerous for altcoins. Now let's take a look into GRT USD first and see what exactly has gone on since the last time we have spoken. Since the last time we have spoken, I did mention that there was a smaller falling wedge pattern. And if that uh, falling wedge pattern actually breaks out by um, about this point right here, the fib level right here at about the 37.5 cent area, um, then the measure target is about 45 cents. However, the measure target did break out sooner rather than later. So I was expecting a higher measure target of about 48 cents. However, price action has only gone to about 44 cents before getting rejected and forming a double top pattern right here, which is a bearish pattern. The measure target of that double top pattern is about 36.4 cents right here. However, price action has gone way below that and has gone to about 34 cents. So right now, it does seem like the price action has bounced at about the 34 cent area and it's trying to get back on top of this hourly 21 simple moving average, which is the blue line right here. Now note that this 21 uh, hourly simple moving average has been the signal of this short downtrend. So actually for the price action to get back on top of this hourly 21 simple moving average, it's an important signal to actually reverse against this downtrend and maybe continue towards an uptrend after getting back on top of this hourly 21 simple moving average and staying above this hourly 21 simple moving average here. Okay, so now there was also possible, uh, there was also bullish divergence on the hourly time frame as well as we see a double bottom here on the RSI, but it does not seem like it was strong enough to actually uh, for the price action to get back on top of this 
hourly 21 simple moving average. So that is something uh, I'll be paying very close attention to for the same reason I just talked about. Now let's actually zoom out to the four hour 21, uh, four hour time frame here, where there's also possible bullish divergence on the four hour time frame as I'll be comparing this high, uh, this low right here with this low right here. I think it's a very small difference. So possible bullish divergence here. And then comparing this low with this low right here for the four hour candle that is about to close in about an hour and 30 minutes. Let's see if there's going to be bullish divergence on the four hour time frame here, because that could be a catalyst for the price action to get back on top of this hourly 21 simple moving average. That is the very short evaluation of GRT right now. Let's take a look into the bullish and bearish case scenario. Bullish case scenario, very simple for the price action to actually close back on top of this hourly 21 simple moving average, starting from the hourly time frame and staying close above this 21 simple moving average on the hourly time frame. This tells me the likelihood of an uptrend and reversal against this downtrend is likely, okay? That's the bullish case scenario. Bearish case scenario, if the price action continues downwards, the next level of support I'm looking at right here, at least let's zoom out a little bit to the 12, uh, six hour time frame. I think I can get a clearer picture here. Next level of support here seems to be the last low that was made on this downtrend uh, where did, we did get a pretty good bounce at about 34 cents. If that does not hold, then I'll be looking at the next level of support here from past trading history at about 32 cents, a slightly under 32 cents, okay? So these are gonna be the next two levels, two levels of support I'll be looking at if the price action gets rejected at the 21 simple moving average on the hourly again. Now these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios in the very short term for GRT USD. Let's dive into SNX USD and see what exactly is going on in this market. Now on SNX USD, as I have mentioned last time on the 12 hour time frame, I did say that there was an ascending triangle pattern that will, that has been formed. However, for the past few days, we did get longer candle wicks um, and extending, breaking the initial bottom trend line of that uh, ascending triangle pattern I mentioned about two days ago. So it used to look something like this. However, now we have to actually adjust the ascending triangle pattern uh, to actually accommodate for these two newly formed lows right here. However, it's still, looks like a ascending triangle pattern. So that is the good news. So the breakout percentage of this ascending triangle pattern that has stayed intact is still 63% chance of it breaking upwards. You guys verified that statistics on your own. I don't think the uh, measure target has changed because the, um, you know, the length between the top trend line and the bottom trend line has not changed just because I adjusted and widened the uh, bottom trend line here. And I would get about a measure target. As far as I can actually read, it's about 10.1 here. I think it's actually uh, higher from what I said last time. I think it was about 10.6 from what I said last time. So you guys might want to double check that on my uh, last post here. But I think the good news here is that the uh, ascending triangle pattern is still intact. So it still does look bullish. And aside from that, I do still see let me see if there are any uh, supports that are right underneath the price action right now. We do have the 200 simple, simple moving average on the hourly. That's right underneath the price action right now. That could be serving as support. The four hour 50 simple moving average here is still support. The six hour is not yet here. However, I do see the 12 hour 21 simple moving average actually coming up pretty quickly. That could be serving as support. Um, and the price action has not bounced off the 12 hour 21 simple move, moving average yet. So I still do expect it to be pretty good support and the likelihood of this ascending triangle pattern staying intact would increase uh, as long as the 21 simple moving average comes up to meet the bottom trend line right here. So this is what I'm looking at. Now let's explore the bullish and bearish case scenario. Bullish case scenario, very clear. Price action stays intact with this ascending triangle pattern, 63% chance of it breaking out to the upside and the measure target, which may or may not be reached. So it's only theory. It's about 10.6. I think that is what I said from my last post. 
from what I can actually read here is about 10.1. You guys can double check that. That is the bullish case scenario. Bearish case scenario, if the price action actually breaks this bottom trend line right here, then I might be having to look into the uh, 12 hour 21 simple moving average as support. I think in that case, this ascending triangle pattern should stay uh, still stay intact as it would look something like this instead. So that's what I'm looking for. I still do think SNX is looking pretty bullish right now uh, because of what I just said. But if the can if the price action actually breaks this bottom trend line and this 12 hour 21 simple moving average, then uh, then I might have to actually recharge something else. And it might look like something else other than the ascending triangle pattern. But right now it's still looking pretty good to me. Now these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today. Please let me know if you guys found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback, or love to hear them. Hope you guys manage your risk carefully. And if you would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.